This edition of the Ridley Report is brought to you by... Next 1000. New Hampshire, if you'd have me, I'd love to call you home. You have everything I need to rest my mind and bones. And when I cross your border, it won't be just to roam. I'll always stand by liberty, just like one of your own. You may have heard uh, a song that I wrote. It's a love song to New Hampshire. Uh, it was written on, on on a day that I did these searches for where I might move, and uh, it's it's right from the heart. It's exactly what I meant. The song almost wrote itself. What's uh, uh what type of activism do you like the most, John? Well, I I you know that, that that's tough. Uh, I kind of I certainly have a lean towards the. Uh, outside the system stuff um, I might like holding a sign and one of the things that happens with that you can actually socialize if you go if you go up to the state house and you and you're sitting at a meeting you don't get to talk you know that much with all your friends you get to have to listen to all these lawmakers I'd rather hang around on, on the sidewalk with a bunch of wonderful people with a holding sign and we're all having a great time together and with all the passers by and you know waving and smiling and getting the responses and, and generally it's been really really positive and when you get the negatives hey that's okay too because everybody's not going to agree with us and and uh, they all of course get the same response which is generally a big smile and a wave and you know thumbs up you know we're, we're, it's, it's all about free speech when we're doing that and, and i think most people at least respect that what's a favorite memory of activism that you have Oh, there's 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 so many uh, there's so many. Um, I, it, you know, maybe maybe it's just because we're here now. But I, this is kind of activism being here at Porkfest because we've got uh, not just not just those of us that know each other and have moved and, and are committed, but we've got people that are that are trying to make their minds up being here and and being open and honest and. And, and, and just sharing what we're all about with these people. I think that's an important part of activism, and I think we may be about to see some momentum gained. As we, you know, we got the, the first 1,000 that's kicking in this year, and we, we may see some momentum. And uh, I, guess, I guess part of the activism, what I do personally, something that a lot of people don't do, something that's kind of individual, I mentioned the song, uh, writing, writing music is trying to reach people's hearts. Because, you know, somebody said if we could win this um, on just the intellectual level, arguments we would have won a long time ago we have the right arguments but sometimes we don't reach people's hearts and and i suppose in the in the end you know reaching people's hearts and i'm trying to do that with music at a prison And other people are doing it in, in, in artistic ways, and, and I think that's gonna that's gonna be a big thing, and, and I enjoy that, you know. And uh, uh, hopefully, people will eventually get a chance to hear my songs if they haven't heard them. Most people have a pretty good response to them. I, I'm proud of them. Now, any message you'd have, John, for folks who are considering moving to New Hampshire or looking at the Free State Project, thinking about moving for more freedom but haven't decided whether to do it? Well, you know, uh, a lot of the early move, the very, very early movers, they used to say, you know, what's the matter with these libertarians? All our lives we've talked about we need to do something, and, and this is a real positive thing, and why aren't they here? Um, you know, I, from, from, for me being an easy move, I can understand why people aren't, but take a look at what's going on here, folks. The momentum is going to build, and you want to be on the ground floor with this. Uh, there, there may come a day when we either win or lose, when you've got your grandchild sitting on your knee, and they say, Grandma, what did you do? Or Granddad, what did you do? And you, whether we win or we lose, that question is going to be there. And you can be part of this, and you can be part of it early. And if you're on the ground floor, it's like anything on the ground floor, you know, you can you can help to set, set what's going on. And, and, and if you can't be on the ground floor... Fine, get your things in order and, and join us later. That's important too. But come on home. I, 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 one of the first things I'd like to say to anybody that moves here, I welcome them home. 
the day they arrive, if I see them, or three months or five months later, it's the same thing. This is home. It really, really is. You talk to anybody who has moved, and, and, you, and you'll see they call this home. This is a community that welcomes everybody. New Hampshire is awesome. All right. Thanks, John. You're certainly welcome. RidleyReport.com. <laughs> Why is it that hundreds of liberty lovers have moved and continue to move to New Hampshire? In part, it's because of the Free State Project's first 1,000 pledge. The success of that pledge gave this man an idea. Max Abramson of New Hampshire is starting what he calls the Next 1,000 Pledge, designed to get another 1,000 Free Staters into New Hampshire by 2011. To find out more, visit pledgebank.com slash next1,000. Next 1,000.